tutorial a really highly requested tutorial uh, so I took some time learn Barlow too uh, also we hit 1k during the time I was gone so that happened <laughs> uh, quick shout out to all you guys out there uh, who made that happen I really appreciate your support I think it's just I don't know really cool it's like a first milestone uh, so yeah that's really dope uh, if you're not part of that 1k now's your chance to join the squad uh, yeah whatever subscribe that's not why you're here today. You are here for Barlow 2. Um, the original tutorial is by some other dude who made the move. Um, I'm forgetting his name right now. But regardless, first link in the description, uh, check that out. It's sort of one of those like slow motion tutorial things. But he is the creator, so if you want to learn it, uh, I'd recommend checking that out. However, it is just a slow motion video, so if you've already watched that and you want a more in-depth tutorial, or if you just know slow motion, thingies, aren't you thing? That's why I'm here. Barlow 2 tutorial. Uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a really nice packet cut. It flows really well. It's really elegant. Um, in my opinion, it's not that hard. I've been learning a few moves and this one just was really easy. Got it polished up, made sure I'm proficient. We all good. Um, yeah, I think if you know like Sybil and some other stuff, shouldn't be too bad. Um, anyways, enough of me talking. Grab yourself a deck of cards and let's get into the tutorial. All right, so here's the angle we'll be using for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Um, yeah, so before we get started, this is what Barlow 2 looks like. And yeah, so yeah, without wasting any time, uh, let's get into the starting position. So the starting position is, it's kind of like this, uh, what's this, extended Z grip? It's similar to that, except you want your fourth finger on the corner and your thumb here. Um, I know the guy who made this, he starts doing the elevated or extended Z grip, whatever you call it, then he switches. For me, I found it easier just to start with the fourth finger. Um, so yeah, that's what I would recommend. Put your fourth finger on the corner and your thumb on the corner here, right? So you can pick up a little bit of a packet and your index finger goes in the middle right there with your left hand starting in dealer's grip fourth finger thumb other index goes yeah other index is prepared to pull another packet up so what you're gonna do is assuming you know extended z grip or some, somebody leave it down in the comments what that's actually called because it might not be called that anyways this thingy, right? Assuming you know that, you're gonna do the same thing, except for instead of using your middle finger, you're gonna be using your ring finger on the corner there. So you push up with your thumb, right? So there's a bottom packet there, your index finger's there, it's just like that. Then you pull up with your fourth finger, all right? So you can see that. This finger, fourth finger on the corner, work with these angles, right there, just like that. Now your index is gonna come in and it's gonna break off another packet. So now you're in this thing, your middle finger is not doing anything. Uh, the top packet is between your index, your thumb is in the corner, fourth finger's there. Yeah, you guys can take a look at that. So the first move you're gonna do from there is your th middle finger is gonna replace your index finger on the top packet. So if you look right there, your middle finger is gonna go and your index finger is gonna leave. All right, and then now you're gonna put the bottom packet into a straddle grip, so your thumb is free. 
and your thumb, you're going to rotate this packet a bit, you're going to rotate it and your left thumb is going to go right in between so it can get these two packets here. And this middle packet that's with your thumb and fourth finger is going to slide out. So all that together, you go fourth finger, boom, middle finger is going to replace the index, right? There. Straddle grip with your left hand, your li left thumb is free, and you're going to swing this around this way. Left thumb is going to come around the back. See that? Trying my best with the angles. Left thumb, and you pull away. You pull away with your fourth finger and your thumb. All right? So in this position, you pull away, and your thumb and fourth finger are going to push forward, and this packet is going to swivel around. All right, so now that's swiveling face down, you're going to grip this packet here with your thumb and your middle finger, and the other packet will be behind with your fourth finger. All right, now you're going to push back on this as your thumb does a scissor cut, and you're going to keep pushing down until now you should be in this position. So what I did with my right hand is I was here, right, and this card went up, and then you should be in this type of position right there. So once again, you spin around, you push, middle finger, you do your scissor cut, and now you're here, in this position. Now you close the scissor cut, this packet on the right comes around, and you grab it, there, you grab it with your thumb, goes around the back and your index goes there. So you're here, thumb and index go there. This packet, you push over on top like that. And this isn't quite a scissor cut, you're just kind of moving it. Moving the packet around like that. So you're here, this packet goes on top, you spin it over, so they're flush like that. You pull it out the back, just like that and you spin it over the top. Okay, one more time, fully over shoulder. So, you break into your uh, elevated Z grip like that. Modified Z grip, that's what it's called. Break into your modified Z grip there. Middle finger goes on top, and your index finger's free, thumb's free, your thumb grabs the side just like that, and your fourth finger and your thumb pull away. All right now, you push forward, and that packet should swivel. Your index braces this packet a bit so your thumb and middle finger can grab it. All right now, you do the scissor cut with the left hand, and you push down with the right hand so that packet goes up. You close the scissor cut. This packet you grab with your left hand just like that, you pull away. And then now this packet, you just flop down on top. Just go from here, you just flop it there, then you spin it. So now the two are flush, sort of. And your index finger's in the middle, you pinch the bottom one, and you leave the top one there, and this one you spin around your thumb like that, and you just lay it on top. Now one quick difference, like different thing you can do, is when you're here, you can flip it over, and when you pinch it, you can actually make it go under, like that. That's what I tend to do. Um, but if you want to know the original, he goes here, he flips it over, pinches, holds it like this, his thumb goes around the back, and it squares up pretty nicely. All right, now one more time from the front. Hopefully this is a uh, good view from the front. So your fourth finger goes on the corner there, and your thumb goes on the corner in the back. All right, your left hand index goes there, and after you lift off, your right hand index pulls off another packet. So here you are in your modified Z grip, modified, modified Z grip, because it's your fourth finger instead. Now your middle finger takes over what the index finger's doing. The bottom packet here, your pinky goes around just to grab it just kind of drop it and then now your thumb comes around the back here and your thumb pulls out and you pull 
that middle packet out, right? Now you push forward, so that middle packet's turning, and then you grab that packet with your thumb and your middle finger, right? Now you do the scissor cut with this hand as you push down here. So it's kind of a nice display if you look. That scissor cut finishes, you turn this hand, you grab it, index and thumb, right? Keep going, you push over, you spin, you pull out, and then you place it on top. So one last run through, modified Z-grip, boom, thumb goes on the back, and you strip out that middle packet, you rotate it, you grab the top packet, you do the cut, and you push at the same time. You drop the cut, you place that card there, you pull it out, you spin the top packet, pull the bottom one out, you spin, and here either you can go on top, or you can push it up and go underneath, just like that. And there you go. That is Barlow 2. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, hopefully that was a helpful tutorial and you learned Barlow 2. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle in the description down below. Um, as I said, go ahead and check out the original tutorial if you're interested. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. If you like the video, dedicated button down there, I kid you not. Go ahead and smash that like button. Yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I have a few video ideas that I think might be really fun, um, and hopefully I can just find time in my schedule to slot those in. But yeah, thank you guys again for 1K. Uh, I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge number, uh, but believe me, for me, 1K is it's really cool. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.